I think it's fairly obvious now that net zero is urgent. It has to be done now. We are facing global warming right now. We can see it every day. AI is one tool in the, in the toolbox that we can use to make sure that we achieve this target. AI is sort of an umbrella term for lots of digital technologies, which have um, one thing in common is that they use large amounts of data, most of them do, um, to optimize particular processes uh, to ensure that certain things are done uh, in the most efficient way. And that's where AI can have a huge impact on net zero. So AI can be used to optimize, for example, production. Uh, it can be used to optimize traffic flows. Uh, it can be used to optimize the consumption of energy, grids. So there are many, many, many different roles that AI can play. In order for AI to be able to um, address the, the challenges of net zero and global warming uh, challenges in, in general. So on the one hand, there are technical challenges. So these are where AI can make a difference with regards to, for example, as I said earlier, the um, optimization of processes to you know, make sure that things are run with the least amount of, of use of energy. There's also a very big social side to it. So people need to understand what AI can do, what types of AI will have what different uh, capabilities, and they have to be able to and willing to use them. If people do not accept it, if the people who deploy it don't use it, and if the, the users on, on the end user side are not willing to engage with it. Uh, ethical issues of AI and digital technologies abound. There, there are loads of them. The biggest um, issue that people have been worried about in terms of ethical consequences of the use of AI and other types of, of computing devices is to do with privacy. Um, any uh, digital technology works on data, uh, where data is human data, where data is personal data, so it uh, refers to individuals, uh, it can raise privacy concerns. And uh, AI uh, can exacerbate that in the sense that it can make data available or it can help identify or analyze data in ways which weren't expected, which people didn't uh, foresee when they provided the data. The problem, therefore, is that uh, some of the ethical issues only arise after the fact. So the data already exists and a later analysis then leads to a recognition of certain characteristics that people do not want to share. Uh, to mitigate ethical issues of AI, um, one typically has to, uh, on the one hand, look at specific issues. So I, I mentioned privacy as an example. In the past, privacy is the most uh, discussed issue, but it's also the, the most advanced in terms of what do we do about it. And if you look at what you can do and cannot do with personal data, you see that there is uh, already a lot of, of legislation out there, uh, but you also have good practices, you have standards that you have to follow, uh, there are methodologies for developing technology. Uh, so in order to address this, um, I think you have to um, try to think about what are the individual problems, how can you individually address them, but also you have to think about what are the broader systems level issues and how can those be thought about.